Hey everyone, welcome back to Does It Suck? And today we're taking a look at grenade launchers, which I need to explain is not really a grenade launcher. That's what it looks like and that's what they're called, but that's not really how they work. Um, to give you an idea, this is the grenade, this is the launcher. While using this, this does not leave this. The grenade stays inside the launcher. And I'm sure if you guys have seen this before, you're actually familiar with it. But for those of you that have not and are thinking, well, how does it work? Essentially, the grenade is what you're gonna gas up and it's what you're gonna load with paintballs. Essentially, there's a little chamber right in there and then you put some paintballs in there and then put this rubber stopper back and then you're gonna put that inside this, which I'll show you. Now, of course, normally this would be slung underneath an actual marker. Uh, they do make a, a couple versions where essentially you can just kind of hold it and it's got a little trigger on it. But yeah, this would be attached to your marker. And once this is loaded up with paint and with gas, then you just press this little button on the back and then it's gonna fire. The grenade is gonna stay right there, but the paintballs are gonna come out the front. So called a grenade launcher, looks like a grenade launcher functions like a shotgun, to be perfectly honest. Um, now they, let me show you this real quick. You go there, you go there. Uh, so this chamber on these ones, they do make these in a couple different sizes. So like there are shorter versions of this, but that little chamber in there, you can fit about four 68 caliber paintballs in there or about seven 50 cal paintballs and maybe eight 43s or something like that. So right off the bat, I am kind of floored by how heavy these are and how expensive they are. They are not cheap. These grenades are like not cheap. And considering what they do, I am pretty inclined to say that this is already close to suck category. But we're gonna take it to the field. We are gonna test it. We're gonna essentially test it with both 68 and 50 cal. And we're gonna see what it does. We're gonna see like, is it impressive enough and cool enough that it brings it back out of suck category? Or is this just like a heck of a lot of weight to strap onto your gun for like, honestly, almost no payoff. So we're gonna go do that and we're gonna find out. So let's go do that. Okay, so we are here at the field. We. Uh, have a couple of these bad boys loaded up. We're gonna shoot some 68 cal out of them and then we're gonna shoot some 50 cal out of them. Just see what happens. So without further ado, let's do that. All right, now we're gonna shoot some 50 cal. Okay, so we are gonna go back to the studio and we're gonna talk a little bit more about this. So that wasn't terrible. That was not terrible. I definitely wouldn't say that these suck. They for sure are doing what they have set out to do. They definitely have like a shotgun blast effect. Um, definitely only useful at like very, very, very close range. The spread is like, ramp, like it's pretty aggressive. So if you were trying to hit a person from further than like 20 feet, I think that you would miss them with every single ball that comes out of it, uh, unless you get really lucky. But for, you know, somebody right in front of you, like that's gonna get them without you really having to aim. And it's also probably gonna scare them a little bit. So that's cool. Uh, but, but I don't think they suck, but my original point of like, damn they heavy and damn they expensive, like that still stands. This is a lot of weight to attach to a marker, like having to carry around a full size marker with one of these strapped on and even like two grenades, that's a ton of weight. You're gonna be dragging that around, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it. Uh, also, they are expensive, like they are, this, none of these are cheap, so, you know, there's that, but they work. They actually do work, they totally like get the job done. I did find that we had to use a ton of grease on the internals of these grenades. They um, they would basically leak and like not reseal 
or pretty much every time we used them unless we just like coated them in grease. So if you do have one of these or plan on picking one of these up, keep that in mind. You wanna just like take it apart and just grease the ever-loving crap out of it. It tends to work better. Uh, they work off of either CO2 or propane, like green gas. So that's cool too. It means that, you know, both of those gases are pretty readily available. That's not hard. And yeah, they, they get the job done. They're just, it's a lot of weight and it's a lot of money to do something that's, you know, at the end of the day, like if you just pull the trigger two or three times pretty quickly, like you'd probably achieve the same results. But they're scary. They make a very loud bang. So there's that, like, I think that's cool. And they look pretty awesome. Like it does, it does make a marker look very, very intimidating and threatening to have this big ass grenade launcher strapped on. So I don't think they suck. I don't think I'd ever get one. I don't think I'd ever use one. I think they're a little bit too impractical and too heavy for me, but like they do what they set out to do. So like, I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna say they suck. I don't think they suck, but I bet there's someone out there that disagrees with me. So if you do disagree with me, I'd love to hear why. I'd love to hear why you think that these either suck or if you think that these are the best things in the world and you've got some awesome like epic war story about using something like this let us know in the comments and you know like subscribe hit the buttons and thanks for watching